Hey guys, it's Julia Trigstead. I hope you're having a great night. I am having a pizza craving tonight and I was watching my daughter eat some leftover um, chicken that we did last night. I fed them all the chicken and I was kind of um, feeling like it had to be a pizza night. So growing up, um, my family, we used to go to this place called Happy Joe's. I don't know if you've ever been to Happy Joe's before, but they had this taco pizza that was really delicious, um, really, you know, pretty calorie laden, pretty heavy. I always felt like I needed to take a nap after I had it, but um, I really love this taco pizza recipe and you can make your own um, cauliflower crust pizzas like I did, or you can buy the cauliflower, um, I'll put the recipe on here, but you can buy them in the store. They're kind of hard to find. Um, so. I know that sometimes Byerly's has them, sometimes Fresh Time has them, but you might have to call around or you can order them online as well. But I just think they're cheaper and they're better if you make them on your own. You can use frozen riced cauliflower, you could use whole cauliflower that you diced up in a food processor. I don't have a food processor. I found these at um, the Riced Cauliflower by Earthly Choice. Um, and a packet of this is exactly what you need. So you need like a cup of riced cauliflower. So I use this, um, but sometimes I use the frozen. It really doesn't matter. Um, just a cup usually does the trick. And then I usually buy um, sharp cheddar cheese. That's the reduced fat. It's basically made with 2% milk instead of the whole milk. And um, it calls for either egg whites or egg beaters or whatever you have around. Um, if you just have whole eggs, you could just do like a fourth of a cup of um, just the, the regular egg whites and would work. So you mix those three things together. And the other thing you have to have, otherwise just don't even try it, is parchment paper, not wax paper, but parchment paper. Um, you can get it in the, the aisle where the wax paper and foil and all that stuff is. So make sure you have that. Um, when you're cooking it, just follow my instructions. Um, spray the, the parchment paper with Pam and take a fork and kind of spread it around like really thin, as thin as you, as thin as you can. You can see that mine is pretty thin, um, so I just made it that way. It gets a little bit crispier. You bake that first, and what I like to do, um, if I was really on top of my game tonight, I would have made like four or five of these and just froze them flat um, in the freezer, and then once they were frozen, I would take them out and just put them in a little baggie, or a bigger baggie, like a gallon bag, so I could just take them out one by one when I needed them, um, put them in the oven and then top it with my toppings. So my toppings for my taco pizza tonight, um, I was running out of lettuce. This is like the measly lettuce that I have left <laughs> in my refrigerator. So I had like a really small amount of lettuce. And the other vegetables I had was tomatoes. Um, I need a healthy fat on here too, so I'm doing avocado. And every avocado that I opened tonight was rotten too, so I was, having, I was struggling with my produce today. Um, and then the other thing that I'm going to put on here is diced green chilies. Now you don't have to use diced green chilies. I was going to use jalapenos, but my jalapeno went bad that I had. And I like things a little bit spicier on mine. Um, I'm also going to use sour cream. So when you get your sour cream, if you're on my fat burn program, the way that you figure out what um, a condiment is, is you just turn it around and you look at the back and you see how much is in that serving. And this is two tablespoons and it equals one gram of carbohydrates. So this is two tablespoons is one condiment that I can have, which is a lot. Um, and then you just use your vegetable guide to weigh this out. So a lot of you are starting tomorrow and what I would suggest is just keep things as simple as possible. So if you could um, just have like um, the things that I've sent over and, and posted for the first week, um, which would be literally like three scrambled eggs and like uh, a cup and a half of like diced zucchini, or you could have um, three fourths of a cup of cottage cheese and three servings of tomatoes. Something like really simple, or gosh, this is so simple. I don't really like canned green beans, but I, I know a lot of you guys do, and it's just simple for you. I would recommend not doing canned stuff every day of your life. Get the no salt added um, green beans, and you'll be a little bit better off. So a whole can of green beans and then six ounces of rotisserie chicken breast. Sounds kind of boring to me. And then three condiments of your liking. A lot of people like Parmesan cheese, blue cheese. Just pick three condiments on that list and then one healthy fat. Um, 
which would be awesome. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna assemble this taco pizza tonight. So what I am going to have on this taco pizza is I am going to do um, two tablespoons of these. I'm actually gonna do one tablespoon because I'm thinking it might be a little bit spicy. I don't think it is, but so two carbohydrate, two carbohydrates in two tablespoons. So I'm just gonna do one and then we'll see how it goes and I'll might add another one um, if I think it's doable. I think that mild green chilies are not as spicy as jalapenos. I thought I had a can of jalapenos, but I did not. So I'm gonna add that and then I am going to add my lettuce and then I am going to add my tomatoes and I'll post the recipe on here for those of you but you know you could have like whatever so you already have two greens in the crust so whatever you want to add to total uh, another green so I did like a half of serving of tomatoes and a half serving of lettuce um, if I don't coach you um, reach out to your coach and, and ask them for um, some additional information if you're confused on that um, but and then I'm going to add one and a half ounces of avocado on top of this now I have one more thing that I can add to this if I feel like it needs it I don't have to um, I have got, um, I shorted myself on my protein a little bit so I could use some chips. Um, so I use Quest chips a lot. You guys always hear me talk about Quest chips. Um, but they're a protein chip that does not have a lot of carbohydrates in them and they're really, really tasty. So I have some loaded taco Quest chips that I might just put like um, probably three or four crunched up chips on top of this so it's gonna finish out my taco pizza. So this is what my taco pizza looks like. If I'm gonna drop it, I'll cry. It's really delicious, so give it a shot. Maybe not your first week. Um, I did, you know, two years ago when I was starting, I tried a cauliflower crust pizza recipe and I ate it literally for five days straight. I, I loved it so much. So um, you can, you know, if you like to cook. I was raised by a home ec teacher mother, so I was raised um, loving to cook and, you know, just really finding joy out of that. But if it doesn't bring you joy, just do things that are really, really simple. Um, I right now have got um, Instacart grocery shopping for me. If you guys are still out there doing your grocery shopping, um, you should probably look into doing Instacart because it will save you so much time. And I forgot to add on top of my my sour cream. I knew I was missing one thing. So, and I like this, this sour cream. So this week, what I am cooking, if you wanna cook it along with me, um, I will be doing um, some steak one night. So I do steak either on the grill or on the stove top, um, which is in a cast iron skillet and then asparagus. So one of my nights is gonna be that. Um, another night I am going to have um, a shrimp salad. It's like a shrimp caprese salad with this Walden Farms balsamic vinegar vinaigrette. It's really, really delicious and more avocados if I can find any avocados that actually <laughs> are looking, looking good. Um, so then we get two tablespoons of sour cream on top of this as well. So I'm just going to kind of dollop that around and kind of spread it around. Um, but hopefully this gives you an idea of you know, what a healthy taco pizza looks like. And if you haven't done Instacart before, um, it will be life changing for you because it just saves so much time and you can spend more time with your family and less time in the grocery store. I feel like I actually spend less money um, using Instacart um, because if I walk into the grocery store, I'm the worst grocery shopper in the world. I will be, um, you know, just going here, there and everywhere and I'll end up with all sorts of stuff I don't need. So I was going to show, I can see that Brooke is watching this. Brooke, does my hair look like it needs to be cut or colored? <laughs> She does my hair, so I always I always show her, um, you know, if I like the cut or not. So you'll have to tell me, Brooke, if you think it's a thumbs up. I can't remember when I'm coming to see you next, but I feel like it must be soon because I can see my hair is getting a little bit more root. So hope you guys have a great evening. I am going to eat this pizza, and um, you just keep keep uh, trying to make healthier choices each day, and it will pay off. Talk to you soon. Bye.